Hi guys, let's look at the CAT score versus percentile. So this is of course the normalization is going to happen. So there will be plus minus two marks, but this will get you a mota mota idea how much question is net correct to re re reach the level of 99 percentile. And we're launching our uh, books, mocks and shortcuts for non-CAT exam, CET, SNAP and MED. Let's make a comeback in the other exams. And for CAD 21, in case you want to join our program, you can call us on any of these numbers. So Monday, that is tomorrow, we are launching our batch. I will be taking the introductory session at 6 p.m. Just call us on any of the numbers here for books, mock shortcuts, or the complete classroom program for CAD 21, or CET, SNAP, and MET, all the other exams. This is the analysis of the last five years, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. You can pause the video and check it out. And this is my attempts from my point of view attempt considering 80% accuracy attempt for CAT 2020. I already have made a video, a separate video for that. All right, coming to the main talk of the town is your score net correct versus percentile, net score versus percentile. How much score I need to do in the CAT exam to get the ideal percentile. So we'll start with the first 99 percentile will be around 14 question correct in verbal net, 10 question correct in DLR and 13 question correct in quant overall 36 question correct so but this is plus minus two question so plus minus two question you can take it for granted for example dlr i'm expecting 10 question correct for 99 percentile it can go up to as high as 12 or can come down to as low as 8 that all depend on slot by slot so there will be no normalization happening i'll make a separate video for that how no normalization going to play so that's your 99 percentile so all the general engineer male gem students have to look at this number in case you want the main IMS. For the new IMS for open category, this is the number you are looking at. And if it's from OBC, this will be the numbers for your IM calls, main IM calls. 12 question correct verbal, 8 question correct DLR, and 7 question correct in quant. This is going to be my expected cutoff. Of course, plus minus 2. You can consider plus minus 1 or plus minus 2 across the board yeah because no one can predict the cutoff i've talked to around 15 20 students this is on the basis of the students whom i've talked to in that range so for, for example those who are getting 99 percent in the mocks i've talked to them those are getting 90 percent the mocks i've talked to them as well so one by one so 90 percentile this is for the non-engineers you will get the im call and for reserved category scst for the main im calls this is the ma magic number 11 correct 7 and 9 correct. Mota Mota 25 question correct will fetch you around 90 percent plus minus 2 question right. Now if you look at here one of the major striking thing which I found out is look at the gap here one one question gap because total number of question less one one question one question is equal to 5 percentile. One question extra correct is equal to 5 percentile so that's the importance of accuracy yeah because the number of question less. All right, so this is how they're going to play the numbers. And if you're from SCST for the new IMS, you can expect a call even at 70 percentiles, but we'll keep a target for a high 75 percentile. So these are the numbers which will act as a benchmark for the CAT 21 also, because final results will be declared once the calls are out, that is by Jan. So till Jan, we will come to know the scale score. That's not going to be a raw, raw score, there'll be a scale score. This is based on the raw score, which is my uh, prediction so how you feel about this please do comment please consider plus minus two question yeah all the best so in case you want to join our program you can call us on any of these numbers for books mock shortcuts for cat and non-cat non exams all the best